this is breakfast from La Quinta Inn. My wife can't have nothing to eat, but she's gonna sit here for a few minutes. We had to watch out. Somebody yeah, spilled tea this morning. Say how you feel, whatever. I hope I'm, I survive. You're gonna survive. We can pray and the Lord's got you in his hands, baby. Hey, Ma. Do it again, I don't see Hey, Ma. We waiting on the doctors. We heard them, overheard somebody say somebody had a STEMI in their back. I don't know if that was related or not, but it's not us. But we're waiting to go back. It's supposed to go back at 11. It's almost 12. Hey, Crystal. This is Mel. I just want you to know I'm thinking about you. I'm sending lots of love your way. And I've got you in my prayers. I've been praying for you. And the church at Howland Home has been praying for you too. And Zaina and Abby. So just please know we've got your uh, all your surgery and everything. We've just asked the Lord to make it do well and go smoothly and just turn out real good. And I know you're waiting, but won't be long. Hang in there. And I'm doing pretty good. It took me a while to get over mine, and I'm still getting over it. But I'm driving now and doing better. But I was, I look like a, a Halloween costume today. <laughs> But I, I love you, and I want you to know I'm praying for you, and things are going to be fine. But, you know, we just have to hold the Lord's hand and let him take care of us because he said he would. And here he, he hears our every prayer. So I know he's listening, and I know he's caring for you. And I love you, and I will let you go out I hope everything will go pretty soon, get you down to the, or up, or wherever it is, to the emer the um, surgery. And just everything will go fine. I'm praying for your doctors and your nurses, your caregivers, the staff, and everybody, that they'll take good care of you. I'm praying for you, too. Love you. Bye-bye. Somebody has a nice little little stream here to get baptized in it i'm gonna have to got the chicken mashed potatoes potato chips the gatorade <laughs> yeah we got it yep we're down here in the hospital my wife was supposed to have the procedure today the blow up the valve in the heart but we learned a new thing today it's called the squeeze function Usually, your squeeze functions around 60 is normal. And they wanted hers in the 50s. So, hers is in the 40s. And her her BPM was 17,000 a couple weeks ago. And that was heart attack level. So, it damaged a little bit. So, they're going to keep her in the hospital. Probably for three days. And they said it could change day to day. I'll probably keep her down here to Friday, monitor her, and they said they were going to tune her up. And then next Wednesday, they're going to try it again. And uh, we were scared because she flatlined two years ago when they had this procedure done. So they didn't feel comfortable enough to do it today. They said, because uh, they got to go in your groin. They got to go with the ultrasound so they can see what's going on in one leg and they gotta go with the tools in the other leg. So it's very, very risky procedure. So your heart has to be pumping pretty good when they go in there with a the balloon and blow up the valve. And the, it makes it, the blood flow better. Cause right now she's got heart failure and it's causing the, the fluid to, she could gain like three pounds. And there's no way to really monitor it besides getting on the scale same time every day next day get on the scale then she weighs too much she has to take lasix so like water pills and then it can burn her kidneys up 
and then she don't want to drink any water, then she's not going to get rid of water, even though she has water. So it's very, very complicated. So uh, I wish us luck down here. In that hospital food. Yuck. <laughs> That's because my wife has to eat it. I got a steak sub at the hospital. Now they put us in the room for observation. We finally got to the room on the floor, but this is the craziest thing. We were supposed to have her procedure done at 11 o'clock today. Okay. One o'clock, one thirty. They knew they weren't gonna do it. So now it's seven forty. We finally got into our room, my wife's room. So they said whatever number they needed last month or back in August, it was the same number it was today when they tested. But two weeks ago, she had a hospital appointment. Well, she was in the hospital and she was kind of bad off. So they freaked out when they seen that. And the head doctors just took the other doctors, listened to what they said. So they said, well, we're gonna cancel it. So they come in there and said they were sorry. They, she was the same as she was last time. So they go, what? They gonna wait another week. <laughs> so we gotta come down here another week from now for this again. You know, so anyway, hopefully it'll be good next week, Yeah. but maybe it wasn't a good time to do it and it'll be first instead of last. So they'll be prepared to do everything, hopefully. And I brought my suitcase, I got my dental floss, I got my pillow, so at least I'll be comfortable. I was looking forward to having yeah, the turkey burgers. So no turkey burgers. Good. The grill is out for repair until a further notice. So they had the chicken, mashed potatoes, and the Subway. So those two meals together are about $21. So it's kind of expensive. But in the future, you might see me cooking. So I hope everybody is in the hospital or false alerts, yeah. future schedules it's going good it's aggravating and i'm kind of thinking since i got to be flexible schedule you know i work my little weekend job i love it they're able to i'm able to do it but if i work 40 hours a week on top of that it's just too much i'm getting too old and a lot of these people in the hospital they only work three days a week i make a lot more money but like man pretty good because a couple jobs I want to do I always get a job nobody wants to do so I'll just keep making YouTube I enjoy that that's my stress reliever I love YouTube and I thank you guys for watching and uh, I'll still do my shorts but I like doing the long content too I might watch it sometimes and we got a yeah we had a traveling nurse she'll be here till December and Usually they give the traveling nurses the worst patients, but my wife's a good patient. <laughs> she likes it down here. She said, it'd be crazy to do a travel nurse and the first place you go to work, you want to live. So she's fell in love with this place. But she knew about Columbia College in Missouri. That's where I got my bachelor's degree and my associate of science degree because my two-year degree in electronics was mainly technical. So I didn't take a lot of the English 102s and some of the histories, all that for an associate of science. So I did everything pretty much at Columbia College and nobody would hire me because I didn't have experience. I could have went back, I, I did Wiley, Wiley CPA review, paid all that for that. I don't know if I still have access, but it's supposed to have all these study questions and I could have went back and studied that. Somebody would probably give me a job, but now my wife's sick. So we was here. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah, how am I gonna be? How am I gonna be able to work? You know, if I do that, <laughs> my wife said, "Who are you talking to?" I'm making videos. So next week will probably be the same way, because I got to work the weekend. You know, it's a temp job, but it pays a little bit.
So it's kind of nice to have the days off and with my mobility issues. <laughs> so, you know, y'all have a good one. Hope y'all doing okay. Take care of your, your family. Enjoy every moment you have. And even somebody, you know, that's close to you or gets on your nerves, as long as it's not an unfriendable or unfamiliable offense, just be patient and change the subject, you know, or just go in the other room. Just keep the peace because, you know, you'll, you'll remember them one day when they're not here. So it's good to have family. So thank y'all. Y'all have a good one.